Baldwin parents of young children unnerved following the discovery of a loaded handgun in the lunch bag of a fourth grader here at Meadow Elementary. It was a semi automatic Glock like this. The swift actions of the lunch monitor who diffused the situation lauded by the superintendent. She was crying about this young man, and she was crying because she has known him for a very long time um, and is just heartbroken uh, that he finds himself in such a situation. That 10 year old's been charged with a felony. The potential crisis, impetus for action. The responsibility is not on a 10 year old to ensure how to fire and how to operate a weapon. The responsibility is on the adults to ensure that that gun is safely stored and protected. Legislators joined by PTA parents and others urging a bill that requires safe storage of firearms become law. The amendment states that weapons must be locked and secured in homes where there may be children. Ever since the Sandy Hook shooting, um, we've discovered that most guns used by school shooters are obtained from the, their homes or the homes of relatives or friends. The commissioner says the handgun was unregistered. The boy told police he found the loaded weapon in a drawer during a party at his uncle's house. The firearms industry in general supports safe gun storage. Whether it be we give away gun locks, whether it be some guns get delivered in small gun safes from the factory. But says Andrew Chernoff, it's doubtful those who break the law by harboring unregistered weapons would bother to lock them up. Do you think legislation like this could work? No. Anyone who has a gun really must respect it. They should be locked up in a box. These are our children. We have to protect them. The safe storage bill just passed the Senate and Assembly, and proponents say awaits only the governor's signature. From Nassau County, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.